let's say that the dollar in 2017 has been, let's say, a little bit the big surprise because we had a, a strong U.S. stock market. Uh, we, we had raising interest rates and the dollar uh, depreciates strongly. Roberto, welcome back to Duca Scobie Studio. It's always an absolute pleasure to have you here. Today, we're going to have a full frontal attack on the uh, everything US. So we'll, we'll have a little look at new Fed chair, then the US economy in, in general, and finally finish up a, a bit of Trump and Davos and the dollar. So let's jump straight in. Janet Yellen's stint as Fed chair is over. Jerome Powell is coming in. Do you expect to see any... Uh, drastic changes under Powell, or do you expect like, it to stay pretty much the same? Yeah. I mean, we had yesterday the last uh, uh, Janet Yellen uh, Fed meeting, and uh, as expected, you know, they are, they are shifting slowly uh, their, their policy uh, towards a tightening in uh, monetary conditions, which uh, has been a pretty steady course for the last year. So I think that uh, Yellen uh, can live uh, with, uh, let's say, a good performance uh, in this past uh, in this past few years, and in is letting new uh, Fed Chairman Powell, I would say, with a pretty much uh, good situation, even if it's, of course, you know, uh, uh, monetary policy as as to adapt to economic condition, and in the last year we have seen that you know President Trump took some quite aggressive steps in terms of. Uh, uh, economic decision, we will see what will be the, the impact. But I think that, you know, he was already uh, as Fed vice, vice chairman. Uh, there was a big consensus inside the Fed. I think the last meeting, you know, when they were raising rates, and I think that uh, the expectation that they will continue, I mean, next next meeting in, in March will be first meeting for, for Powell, and the uh, expectation is that they will keep rising rates and others 0.25%, and probably during the course of the year, uh, uh, every quarter uh, will have a 0.25%. This is, maybe the market uh, is a little bit shy still, you know, they, they still favor to have a, a monetary condition pretty loose. Uh, and, uh, and this is where maybe, you know, uh, will, be, uh, will be important to, to readjust after the first, uh, let's say, speech or the first uh, meeting in, in March. Mm -hmm. uh, the US economy had some decent growth throughout 2017. It sort of slowed towards the end. With that in mind, what do you expect to see this year from the US economy in general? I think that the US, uh, the US uh, economy is doing, is doing well. Uh, overall, you know, I think that uh, 2017, we have seen uh, uh, around the world synchronized growth, which is a first time for, for, for many years. So Europe is growing, US is growing, let's say almost in full employment, if not in full employment. Asia is growing, China is doing not so bad. So I think that, you know, we are, uh, we are in a synchronized pickup of uh, economy. And I think that the measures that have been taken uh, will, will, will keep this, this grow uh, further ahead and, and, and even increasing because we're going to have a tax cut in the US, we're going to have repatriation of uh, hundreds of billions in, uh, in, uh, from, from companies. We have now 1.5 trillion plan for infrastructure uh, and we have 4% uh, unemployment rate, 2.5-3% uh, growth uh, expected. So I think that we could even have surprises on the on the upside, you know, for for economy, and that's why I think that interest rate should should definitely follow. Let's say uncertainty concerning monetary policy, and uh, it, it's because the the the, uh, the Fed is going to reduce, you know, and even unwind some of the balance sheet uh, uh, excesses of the last few years. So there are approximately 500 billion. A new uh, treasury that are going to be uh, put in the market and should be absorbed. So let's say that interest rates could uh, could uh, could could go up a little bit 
more substantially than what uh, is forecast. This is the only risk for growth. But I think that, you know, uh, I, I don't see really any, any, any problem for U.S. growth or worldwide growth uh, on, in, on 2018. I mean, more the opposite. I think that we yeah. could have uh, a pickup. Mm -hmm. Finally, let's finish up by just looking more specifically at the dollar. It, it, was, it was relatively weak recently, but following President Trump's speech at Davos, the economic forum, it, it's picked up somewhat. What do you expect to see from the dollar going forward? Yeah, let's say that the dollar in 2017 has been, let's say, a little bit the big surprise because we had a, a strong US stock market, uh, we, we had raising interest rates and the dollar uh, depreciate strongly, you know, uh, dollar index was 104, uh, we are now below 90, so we had almost 15% drop in dollar value uh, in 2017, which was much more than expected. The interest rate differential is in favor of the dollar. I think uh, that, uh, of course, this has been a little bit, you know, pressure for economic partners of the US that maybe <laughs> not very keen to, to negotiate. So the US has been pushing a little bit on, you know, on, on a weaker dollar, you will, even without saying you have seen um, Munchen, you know, the trade uh, representative being, being, being a little bit, you know, uh, uh, mentioning the dollar weakness as, as a possibility and then Trump correcting it back. I think uh, that the dollar will be the surprise of 2018 on a good side. So I think that the dollar will, uh, will come back, mainly against Asian currencies, but also against the, the euro, uh, because uh, economic activity in the US is leading other countries, the interest rate differentially is there. And I think that the market that is today, if you see all major forecast of big investment houses, they're all negative in the dollar. So I think you have a sentiment index of dollar bull at uh, historic low around 10%. Yeah. So this could come uh, and we could have uh, quite a substantial correction. So probably very short term, there is still a small risk of a last new high above 125. But uh, I think that overall we will find that the dollar much, much higher uh, by the end of the year uh, against uh, all major currencies. Roberto, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us today. It's always a pleasure to, to have you here. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Jack. See you soon. And thank you for watching. And if you like this interview and would like to find out more, be sure to head over to dukascopy.tv.